Welcome to this training video. Here we will show you how to define the solder panel laggy wall section properties inside our software program DPEX. DPEX is our program for deep excavation design and analysis. It can perform full structural and geotechnical design of any common wall type and support system. With DPEX we can design any kind of solder pile line wall. We can have reinforced concrete and unreinforced concrete solder piles, pipes or pipes filled with concrete, steel beams like edge beams, channels, rectangular hollow sections or timber piles. Inside the software we simply have to access the wall on the model area and we can select to edit the structural section for our wall. There we can select to use a solder pile and lagging wall and we can press any of the available buttons in order to select the wall type. When we are using concrete piles we can define the pile diameter and longitudinal and shear pile reinforcement. When we are using steel sections Inside the software, we have implemented extensive databases with I-beams, rectangular hollow sections, channels and pipes. Inside the software, when we are using a concrete solder pile and lagging wall, then we can go to the Reinforced Concrete tab, where we can define the diameter here, and down we can define the number and size of longitudinal reinforcement rebars, and below we can define the shear reinforcement size and the spacing. If we select now to use a solder pile and lagging wall with edge piles, we can go to the steel beams tab where we can access the drop down and select the steel beam section from the available list. The same happens with any steel beam shape. In DPEX we can have timber lagging, steel plate lagging and concrete lagging. Inside the software we can go to the lagging tab where we can define the lagging type the lagging thickness or section for the concrete lagging and the position of the lagging along the wall. Here we can see the generated wall section. For solder pile and lagging walls there are recommendations that dictate the widths for the calculation of the active, passive and water pressures below the excavation where the wall is non-continuous. According to these recommendations, we should use for the calculation of the active and water pressures one time the flange size or the pile diameter and for the passive pressures 2.5 to 3 times the flange size or the pile diameter. Visit our website in order to receive more information about our software programs and services. If you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.